Hey, what's up guys? Today is feeding time. Uh, it's in the morning right now. It's around like 8.30. I'm just gonna feed the fish. This is the 40 gallon. The, uh, the tank that I've, I've always had set up. Um, I just uh, bought some new fish for the 10 gallon. I'll show you guys that later. And um, I put some fish in the 125 already. So I'll update that in a bit. But first, let's feed them. There you go. They are fatty. Boom. So they are growing very fast. The uh, bucos are growing fast. The sunshines. And the venistas. So I still got two venistas. That one's the dominant male right here. Uh, his blue star is showing. I'm excited for that. For the peacocks, uh, this one right here is starting to show some yellow. So that one's a male. Pretty sad though because uh, I had a, a smaller one that showed color all the way from the tail to the head, but not the face. Like it showed up. It showed um, color like when he was small already. So this guy is a slow grower. I think this small one right here is also a male. He got yellow by his cheeks. The bugles are not aggressive towards each other. Um, they all chase each other like a chain reaction. Like one chases the other or chases the other and then yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. That way they don't bowl each other and one dies off. Uh, the three playcos are still in here. They are still doing fine. Let's see one over there. Oh, two. Uh, the two albinos are still fine and okay too. Oh, and you feed this guy. This guy's not the dominant male, but he is big. He loves to eat. I think it's a he. I'm not sure though. Just because of the size. Alright. There you go. That's the update on the 40 gallon. Get up close. Can't wait to put them in the 125. Here you go. This is the 10 gallon. Uh, this is the quarantine tank. I put these guys in here for um, a couple of days now, probably like four days. Uh, these are the Arlofranx Tetra Stigma. They are about 1.5, so that's why I didn't put them in the 40 gallon yet. I have three in here. The other one's probably hiding behind the rock or something. Let me take a look. Oh, there he is up down there. Oh, is the rock squeezing him? Let me check. Oh yeah, he's just hiding over there. So yeah, I didn't put them in the 40 gallon because they were too small, 1.5 inch. These guys are around 2 inches to 2.5 inches. So let me show you guys the update on 125. There you go. This is the 125. It's been running for like a week and almost two weeks. So a week and a couple days. Got two sponge filters, two heaters, got uh, driftwood in the middle, I put sand in there, put the sponge filters on top of the rocks, that way uh, sand don't get inside it. Uh, this driftwood, I uh, boiled it for like 15 minutes to kill all the parasites, the bad parasites, that way the fish don't die. So 
so these are the two tetras that was from the 40 one died because uh the fish my uh, africans ate them beat them up and ate them uh right here i got the prime that i put into the tank i put a quick start into the tank and i put a safe start uh for quick start it was supposed to be uh i think uh 10 ml for each gallon 10 ml per us for per 10 us gallon so i put 100 ml i was supposed to put 120 but i only put 100 um because I also put it a uh, safe star tetra tetra safe star plus heard good reviews about it and um, wanted I wanted good bacteria to be in the tank so I put some of those too uh, I used this strip to uh, check out the easy the five in one easy strips to check out the water parameters. Yeah, it's pretty bad now, but before it showed a little bit better. And these colors right here were pretty light. I think this one was the, was the uh, ammonium and the nitrite, nitrates. They were light colors, so maybe that's why the fish are surviving. Pretty soon, I'll put my fish in there. Uh, let's go with the filter. I got a FX5. Here's the output. Uh, I installed two ends. Uh, one end is right here, the other end is over here. I can poke some holes for like a little waterfall. Looks pretty nice. Uh, here's a clamp. My python. Uh, the siphon is not attached right now. But uh, it will be whenever I clean the tank. This water is just for adding water. I mean, not this water, this uh, hose is just for adding water. There you go, that's the sink. So this sand that I got is, uh, I got it from Menards, pool filter sand. So this is only one bag and a half of a 50 pound bag. Got it for $8. Take a look. One pound, I mean not one pound, uh, one bag and a half already already looks good I don't know if I need any more maybe I might finish the other half but again got it for eight dollars this is what it looks like this is the bag that's unopened wink Menard baby eight dollars pretty nice just gotta clean it up and this is the half bag that I still need to use this is where I clean it I use a bottle on um, one of the techniques from one of the people from YouTube. I think he was IFG, but I could be wrong. Where he used a bottle and then he captured all the dirty stuff and then he poured it out. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Another look again. Okay, until next time, peace.